Hey everybody, this is Matthew, and this is going to be a little bit more of a uh, maybe slightly advanced, more DTR session than we normally do on our webinars. But uh, I want to do a video to, uh, tutorial on how to use the email and fax number that are addressed uh, and, and issued with your DTR account. So let's start off telling you where it goes and, and how to find it. So in your account you have rooms and those rooms have numbers and so I'm going to go over here to my training room and I want you to look and see that it has a number here and there it is 51 or 516805 every room has an ID remember that number we're going to come back to that and then you look over here and you've got an inbox and in your inbox I have nothing in my inbox but you notice up here there's an email address and a fax number that are actually at the top of this document, or this page rather, and those are your DTR email addresses and fax numbers. To find those, or even to edit those, you're going to click over here on your profile icon, go down to settings, and when you click on settings, you're going to come over to inbox details. And here, you'll be able to edit this, and so long as no one else has taken whatever inbound email address you want, you can create your own inbound email address and then your inbound fax number. Now if you don't have one issued, you can click a button. There'll be a button here that says, do you want one? And you say yes, and it'll create your fax number. And this now is your digital fax number. Anyone who sends this from a traditional fax machine to that phone number is gonna be received here in the inbox, right there. Now, there's a number of ways we can use this. If someone is sending you an email, and they're sending you an attachment, so I'm going to go into my handy dandy email. I'm going to create a new email. I'm going to go and find a form here. And we're going to call this, and we'll just pick addendum one. And we're going to go to Matthew CVE. Matthew CVE at mail.docusign.net. And I'm just going to email this. So I'm going to go ahead and hit send. And in a few seconds, as the email is processed, you're going to see up here in the inbox, you're going to see a little number one up here telling you that you now have an email that's been received in that box. All right. So we're just going to wait for that for a second. See that there's a one here in the inbox. And when I open that up, sure enough, there's the addendum and there's a form that was emailed to me. Now we're going to do the same process, but this time, we're going to go back over here to my transactions. We're going to open up the test transaction. And the transaction ID for that test is 516805. So I'm going to take that number and copy it. And now any document that is sent to Matthew CVE. Again, our email address is matthewcv at mail.docsign.net. In the subject line, I'm going to put that room number, so pound and room number. And now I'm going to add a document again. And what's going to happen, we'll do the conventional finance addendum. That email gets sent, and because it's got that ID in it, that particular ID, it's going to show up in this room under documents in just a few minutes. Now I've logged in here under a training account, so um, under the training account my email is a training email, it's not my actual personal email, but I'm getting an email when there is something that comes into my inbox or something that uh, comes into um, the transaction. So while I'm in that transaction, I'm going to go back over here, All right, I'm going to go to documents. And you'll see here, 3-7-2012, which is today's date, I just received the conventional finance addendum already in this box. And I would also have received an email telling me, by the way, you've received a new document in the transaction so that I know that's there. And then when I go to dashboard, there's also going to be indicators that I got a new document, uh, new document access right here. When I log in and scan, it says, oh, somebody sent a new document to this transaction went to 3 Test Street at 8.52 p.m. on 3-7-2017. And so now I know I have a new document. And that's how the email works. The fax works pretty much the same way. 
So I'm going to go into the same transaction. And this time, I'm going to fax it to somebody else. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fax it to our test DTR account, to that fax number, so you can see how it works. So I'm going to go into Documents, and I'm going to go find the Home Inspection Release. And when that document comes up, I can fax this to any traditional fax number. So let's say we have an agent who just isn't quite in the email, or they need some fax, or a bank who doesn't want an email, and they want it faxed. Or client, I can go to Document Actions on any document, scroll down to Fax, and then type in the fax number. So the fax number to our training DTR account is this particular number, and the recipient we're going to call CDE uh, Training. And I'm going to hit Send. And it's going to go through, like a normal fax would, through the fax system, and then it's going to show up in the other account. So I'm going to go ahead, and this is my personal account, I'm shutting that one down. Here's our training account, and look over here in inbox under number two, there's the home inspection release that's been faxed from the other system into this system. So we can send fax, and you can send a traditional fax, or those fax numbers, although email is clearly easier. But when you're in inbox, you can go here and get the fax number and the uh, email address. And I would keep your fax number handy in your contacts just in case you have someone who's still using fax services that they can send it when they ask for your fax number you can give them a number that they can send the document to and for some of your clients or some people it is easier to do the fax because maybe they don't know how to scan or it's not going to look good scanning because they have a real old scanner or they're in their home office and they actually have a fax machine set up it may be better to do that um, the deal is that you cannot uh, send a fax right to a room at least if you have if you can't i haven't figured out how it is how that works so i'm going to open up the document here And when I open up the document, I'm going to click on Document Actions. I'm going to go down here to Move. And it's going to ask me under which transactions do I want to go to. I want to go to Active Transactions. And I'm going to go to Main Street and hit Move. And now I've moved it from the inbox over to the transaction. Documents. And there is the addendum. All right. And there's all my forms. So there you go. That's how you move those back and forth. I'm going to show you one more trick that you can do with this. I'm going to go back to over here to DocuSign. All right. And I'm going to upload a, a document for signatures. Um, we'll just go pick up in any old document. Okay, and so I'm going to add the document here for signatures. And I'm just going to say I'm sending this to myself to sign. And then I'm going to add a, a different routing. So I'm going to add, uh, and I've got DTR set up in here already. So Matthew.training is my training email address. I'm going to add that. Now I don't need it signed by this, right? This is my DTR email address, the one we just went through, the one we got from the other system. I'm not going to sign. I simply want to receive a copy by email. Now down here in the subject line, I'm going to put new addendum, please sign. And it's because my subject line, but I'm going to add at the end of the subject line 516805. If you remember from earlier in this video, that is the room ID of my transaction that I, I was looking at earlier. And I've added this number here. So now once this is sent, and this is going to be number two, so once this is sent to this signatory, this person is going to sign, when they've signed, it'll then get routed to my DTR email address. And since I've put in that number, it's going to go straight into that transaction room. Now, this is if this is for some reason you need DTR DocuSign for a number of other reasons. The better way to do it is to go create an envelope in DTR and go for that. We do other training on that. So that's the better way to do it. But if for some reason you need DocuSign, it's too complicated, you're more comfortable there, whatever it is, go create in your contacts a contact for your DTR room where you can simply send a copy as email after it's been signed by all other parties, and then you're going to get it in your room. So uh, just a quick little trick you can use when you're using that if for some reason you don't want to use envelopes or you need more whatever you need.
um, that's a good way to do it. So that's fax, that is email, and I would hang on to those two addresses because you'll need them for making your life a whole lot easier. And that's it. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to the team. We'll be happy to get you set up and running. Thanks for listening.